What is going on everybody? My name is Shayla Victory and I am bringing you guys a team of the season Raheem Sterling player review and if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button because I will have more player reviews especially team of the seasons as new players are released within the next couple of weeks and I'll try to get a more a couple more BPL reviews out before this team of the season ends. So Raheem Sterling 95 pace which is crazy 80 shooting 78 passing and 90 dribbling 5 foot 7 right footed medium medium work rates 3 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves picked him up for 150k and I'm going to talk about, I did play 7 games with him, but he did score more goals and he did have more assists. I'll talk about that in a little bit, So, but let's get into his in-game stats right about now. Look at those skill attributes. 87 ball control, control 87 uh, crossing, 91 curve, 92 dribbling, 95 finishing on Raheem Sterling card. If you guys watch Liverpool games and if you guys are Liverpool fans, no way in heck does this guy have 95 finishing in real life. But I get this. I guess this is his team of the season, so his stats are boosted. But his main his, his main stuff is his physical attributes: 97 acceleration, along with 99 agility, 96 sprint speed, 95 balance. Some very very good stats he has right there. But going into the actual highlights, I have tried out his upgraded right wing card and his informed center forward card that I actually re reviewed last week, I want to say. Uh, I don't even remember. I've just been putting out so many reviews, and I really hope you guys are enjoying these videos because I'm getting a, a lot of views on them for the amount of subscribers that I have, and it sounds like people are enjoying them, so I'm just going to keep on putting them out. But Raheem Sterling, I'm going to kind of base it off the center forward card. That's what I'm going to do throughout this uh, review. And I've also tried out the right wing, so I have that in the back of my po in my back pocket, I guess. I can com kind of compare them to those two uh, cards. So obviously, the one thing that, or the two things that are going to be consistent about this uh, Raheem Sterling card is his skill kind of I guess obviously he has better ball control on this card than his center forward and his right wing card very very good ball control which I do like and then again I don't like um, I really like being able to have the ball close to his foot but then it's kind of hard to use and what a fantastic finish that, finish that is right there it's kind of hard to use that pace with uh, with very good ball control I'm not sure if you guys know this but it's kind of a common belief that if someone is very fast and does not have the better or best ball control, they'll seem faster on the pitch. But I'm going to talk about these goals and the the amount of goals I scored. So obviously it says I scored six goals there with Raheem Sterling, which I did. And you guys just watched all the goals that I scored in one match. First game I scored six goals with this Raheem Sterling. But then I I get this error connecting to FUT, whatever. Go back to go back in. And then I get a DNF. So apparently I did not finish that last game. Obviously when I won six to zero, and it says that I played one goal, but I did not score any goals. And I swear to God, guys, I lost connection on every single one of these games. So I I, I don't know what it was. I wasn't sure if it's my internet. I'm not sure if it's EA Sports. But I swear to God, I got kicked out of all seven of these matches. So I even though it says I played seven games, I did start seven games, but I only finished zero of them because I got disconnected from all of them and I think the latest I went into a game was obviously that that last game and then I think I went to the 70, 70th minute one time so I would say total game time probably equates to three to four games so just keep that in mind when you're watching this video but what was I what was I going on before uh, I guess I'll just talk about his finishing very very good on his center forward card I thought he had some of the best finesse shots in the game definitely carries that carries that over but his his uh, power shot has improved so much on this card that was more reliable than the finesse shots in my opinion I'm just better at power shots than finesse shots so I just went with the power shots uh, because they were very very good on this card so you can really use either for him um pace obviously very very oh I know what I was talking about I was talking about the ball control um so people that have like Messi who has high high pace and high ball control is going to seem slower than someone like a Barbo who has high pace and not that high ball control because the players that don't have the highest ball control are able to touch have big bigger touches out in front and they just seem faster uh but what else to talk about this guy this guy a very good winger except his crossing that was the one let down that was the one thing that prevented him from being a winger uh, I definitely really like this guy but I'm gonna go to his pros and cons right now so his pros obviously his pace his finishing was very very good for a winger I would go more 90 not 95 but very very reliable finisher his aggression actually he was able to win the ball back very very easily if it was taken off his foot which I really enjoyed because you were able to go through on a breakaway his dribbling obviously very great his cons weak foot crossing and his size but overall I give this guy a rating out of 9 out of 10 but I hope you guys enjoyed these graphics something new that i thought i would try out and i'll see you guys next time